Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to give you a test case for where you would want to use the function include. It's a level of detail and I know a lot of people have some issues with that so we're going to try and walk it through you an example today. This is a table where we have months along the side here but it could be other dimension or categories. We have customers or yeah, customers across the top. And what we want down here is we want the monthly average. We've got the monthly uh, average of sales here, and we expect that to add up or be the average of 122. When you copy it over to Excel, you'll notice that the average is not that one is but the average is different than what is being shown and why is that well tableau when they look calculate this grand total it ignores any level of detail that you have of up above you're doing the here's the average of all those orders in august well now this is the average of all the orders period. If it's a sum, it's no big deal. You want them all to add up. But when you have an average, the, you know, the, the partition over which you're averaging can be important. I'll show you what, a little bit more. This is those same customers, except now we've added in another level of detail. We've added in the day. So you can see here, some of these, they have two in June. This guy here has multiple in October. Forget about the years for now. Uh, let's see here, and there's a couple. Here's some in March. Now when we copy this over to Excel, if we get the average, you see it's at 122. 122, 122. So Tableau is here, is taking the average of all the underlying data. And what we really want it to do is we want it to say, hey, give me 141. Now, the way that we are able to do that is by using the include function. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Because it's a level of detail expression, you do need to have the curly brackets to open and close. We're going to put in the word include, and now we're going to put in the the level of detail that we want to add or we want to include into the visualization. In this case, we want it to look at the month and we're going to take the average of the sales. Okay, so if we come back here, we're gonna add, double click, add that, okay. Uh, let me switch this around. So starting off, the monthly average and the sales, average of the sales match at the month level. That's what we wanted. And down here at the grand total, what you can see there's a problem already and that's because this is the sum. We don't want the sum of all these, we want the average. Uh, where is that? All right. And so now we're getting the 141 the 292 and the 635 that we were expecting or calculated on Excel. Now what's happening again is remember we're going when Tableau gets down to this level here it's saying okay forget about what this visualization is here what does this value in this case it was the average of all the sales in this case it says okay forget about everything up above except now we are adding it in. We're saying, okay, we want to include the month when you're doing this calculation. We want the average sales for each month. And you can either add them all up like we was the default, or now we want the average of those. Very helpful uh, when you're doing averages. I highly recommend copying the data into Excel double checking to make sure things are working the way you think they should make sure that there's not some filter that's being applied or that there's not some lower level of detail that 
you're not accounting for. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Enjoy.